Hello to all! I am Nicole Andre Luxon, a science education student from the University of Mindanao Professional School Maed Science Program. As an environmentalist, I campaign awareness on global and local environmental issues and advocate environmentally sound practices to help maintain a sustainable planet for everyone. This vlog is about looking into the solid waste management of Purong Santo Nino, Buhangin Davao City with hopes of enkindling local awareness to address local problems within the community. We are here in Purong Santo Nino. Wala ay problema. Ma! Oh, no ah. Na ay problema. Hindi ako kaya problema. Hindi ka ba wala ba eh? Oh, look! A plastic bottle! Last week's webinar titled Living in a Plastic World taught me that plastics can take up to 1,000 years to decompose in landfills. Oh, by the way, do you know that Davao City's landfill could only hold 700,000 to 800,000 tons of garbage, but currently it accumulates more than 900,000 tons of trash since 2016? Today, the city generates 650 to 900 tons of trash daily. 50% of these are biodegradable wastes and should have been composted at home as fertilizers. It seems that no segregation, no collection policy is not anymore enforced by the devil's and Pinaloy, alam mong sila pin? Ito ka itong mababa na itong bisa mong malata. Ano ang bisa mong malata sa bilihan? Sigara na mong binalabay sa pumutas ng bilihan malata. Magrabe lang mo sa mong mga basong raon sa ginalahi. Ang sa ibili, depende kung tama doon. Ang ginalahi ba ang biodegradable sa nabiodegradable? Depende lang yan po sa mga. Hindi ka ba mo labay? Ibutan na lang sa kilid. Wala na kisay mo. Wala sa iro. Kagan. Alam niya na Diyos kung hindi mo up to date ang buwan. Koleksyon na basura. Pasagda na lang sa kasada. Kaya gilabay na. Ang city. Wala yung city. Mas ibang isigrigit yung mudiha. Ilabay sa trap. Hindi mo mo sigrigit. Nahalo ko. Hindi ka sigilid ng tao. Wala yung segregation ng city. Ano? Minsan man sa'yo? Saan ka ba maglabay sa'yo mabas mo na? Personally, ang ako nilabuhat, hinahiwalayin na po ang mga malata sa dilig malata. Yung katong mga dilig malata, mato yung ginabalod na kong plastic. Yan, ginakuan na po, labay po, muagin na itong trap sa basura. Yan, katong mga plastic bottles, ginahimo na po siya ka ng pat, nga pwede na po tamnan o mga gulay. Ang katong mga malata, sama sa kanang mga panit sa gulay, prutas, mga lamas, o ito yung ginakuan, ginadugmok na po sila o ginabutan na po sa kanang yuta at sila malata. Improper solid waste management can be dangerous to both the local and global community. According to a study conducted by De Vera and others, rampant improper waste disposal possesses the greatest threat in Malabon City's flooding problems. Furthermore, follow a study from Nigeria noted overall worsening of general sustainability of urban life, including poor agricultural yield, spreading of germs and diseases, and others 
has direct, short-term effects. While abiotic depletion, climate change, global warming, and other extreme weather events has indirect, long-term effects of indiscriminate solid waste disposal. Let us take part in saving our environment and our future starting locally by first, not throwing our garbage anywhere, second, segregating our trash, and third, composting our biodegradable wastes at home. We may think that our local leaders and policies can save us from our environmental problems, but actually, change starts in us. I am Nicole Andre Luxon, your friendly neighborhood environmentalist, and that's all. Thanks for watching!